Hello reformers and welcome back to a world of ice and fire. Now when we left off we were basically eliminating the last Dothraki fief that we can currently see and I am now dispatching a skirmish party consisting of five spies and attempting to stop Kalpono from getting away. Now obviously he is very very fast in comparison to my speed right now but I'm hoping that my skirmishers will be enough to uh, fully catch up to him. It is actually remarkably difficult to actually get get close enough to actually get into some kind of fight with this guy. I mean, obviously he has an insane, and I'm talking insane amount of horsemen. And that is obviously the main problem with uh, us attempting to even do this. Uh, I guess, you know what? I guess I'm just going to speed things up. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, apparently... Apparently the party was lost. You know, I'm just going to speak to my spies. Can I just speak to my spies? Oh, oh, no, no, wait a minute. We, oh, I do not want to speak to the spies. Thank you very much. But, oh, well, never mind. I gained them back. I guess that's okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to, just going to send, uh, eight, I guess. Just send eight over there and see if that can stop them for a little bit longer, maybe. Doesn't seem to make much difference, but maybe I can catch up a little bit more now. I just really wanted to show you this mechanic because I've, I've actually been told by a couple of people that this is a really, really good way to catch up to, f you know, much faster parties on the on the world map, and that's obviously the case, but uh, <laughs> it's very not hit or miss. It's just we're just very slow right now. Okay, there we go. We finally caught up. Isn't that crazy? That is super crazy in my opinion. Okay, so there you go. 282 against 253. Bear in mind he has no horse lords. So we should be, well, pretty fine to win this. But we'll see. Maybe it's going to be more difficult than I imagine. Well, it seems like they're actually charging us straight away. And I mean, I guess that's, you know, that is to be expected. I mean, they have a huge amount of cavalry. And these cavalry, well, they they do seem to want to die rather fast as a result of this. But uh, yeah, I put everyone into shield wall. All of my uh, all of my infantry have gone into shield wall. And hopefully we will, you know, do okay on that. But obviously my spies, they might actually take a bit of a battering at the moment. I'm not a big fan of that, obviously, because they are pretty expensive. I've actually heard that a couple of people have been able to recruit spies. Whoa, there goes his head. Calpono himself attacking that spy and eliminating him. There we go. He has lost his life in uh, this particular fight, so let's hope that that's going to go well, and hopefully our infantry will be able to tackle the various units that are streaming towards them currently. Anyway, point is, yes, I, uh, I have heard that a number of people have found spies in taverns for a very cheap price in comparison to what we currently have going on here. I'm actually going to tell my infantry to charge in now because, well, it seems to me like the enemy is not really holding position at all. They just seem to be throwing all caution to the wind whatsoever. And, uh, well, that probably means that we have a pretty significant advantage as it is right now. So if I, if I can maybe just make it to a point where we have eliminated enough of their horse archers to uh, maybe get a good auto resolve on or something like that, then I think that would be perfectly fine because otherwise we're going to have this kind of situation where enemies, and I'm talking about these horse archers right here, will just basically run away from us endlessly yes they tend to do that a bit too much in my opinion but that's you know that's just how it is that's just how it is you know they they are horse archers and to give them additional smarter ai is uh it's just going to result in them being better at what they do and uh, obviously you know what is that well it's running away and firing at the same time and they are very good at that so obviously the improvements to the ai has made them into a pretty formidable enemy. Even if they're not able to do that much damage, they are able to be very frustrating, that's for sure. So let's see if I can get a couple of kills around here as well. I'd like to just try and reduce the enemy's population as much as possible, just literally from killing their various infantry units as well. I don't really mind too much about the various cavalry. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to tell everyone to hold position once again, and we're going to... Uh... Oh. 
Ah, uh, there we go. For, uh, there's the advanced formations. Fantastic. Okay, I was, I was thinking to myself, oh, where, where's the advanced formations gone? No. But uh, I'm actually going to tell them to all go into shield wall once again. Mainly because I would like to see the uh, overall status of the current battlefield that we have going on here. Because at the moment, as you can see, the... Well, the pretty obvious thing going on is that the horse archers are just running all over the place. And if we, if I tell my, my infantry to run after them, they're basically going to do that thing that they do, which is longevity. They have such good kiting skills that it is basically impossible for an infantry to get even close to uh, being, able, being able to eliminate them. So basically, I'm just going to try and move my forces just a little bit closer to the enemy and uh, maybe from us moving in that way we might be able to cut off a couple of cavalry units and, and take them out and uh, hopefully we'll see something from that some good resolution but I, I don't know whether that's going to happen to be honest I mean you can see here I'm just going to try and take out their horses if if I can you know if I can obviously help it I would much prefer to kill the rider because the rider is obviously the main the main problem but, uh, yeah, if I can't, then th then the, the horse is obviously going to be the next target. But, anyway, you can see here, look at that. Just a circle. Just a circle. And you know what we're going to do? I'm actually going to tell my forces... Can I not? Are you serious? Uh, I, I'm actually not clicking there. That's a bit weird. I'm not entirely sure why they decided to go there, but, oh, okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. Oh, hello. You actually dealt a huge amount of damage to me just now because my horse got taken out. That's not very good, is it? That is not good at all. Okay, so I think I might actually be dead here. Can I tell my forces to come over here? They, for some reason, they're, they're not they're not doing that. So I'm actually going to tell people to just charge in because I won't be able to do it after I die. I don't believe I have the battle map available after the fact. So if I can just stumble. Mm, very good. Very good, Elias. Yes, keep up keep up the good stumbling. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how we do from now. I might be able to survive. All right, so that seems to be it for the... Well, for the for the Dothraki, I hope. I'm not entirely sure whether there are another you know, couple of vassals around somewhere. But we did lose five spies in that, which is really not anything to worry about because we can, as I say, hire them at any time. And they are pretty expensive for me. They're about 3,000 per one. And as I said, if I could find them in some taverns, I'm not entirely sure whether they are still available in taverns, but if they are, then it would be great if I could find some. Anyway, as you can see, Calpono was actually able to kill six enemies, or six of ours, that is for sure. And uh, uh, it seems like we... <laughs> yes, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of this, you know. I'm going to actually tell my troops to just attack without me, and we're going to try and eliminate them. There we go. Because those guys... They are literally just going to run around in circles once again. And uh, that is the way to go. Okay, so I'm actually going to take this guy prisoner. Usually I'm able to uh, ransom him for a pretty decent amount of money. And uh, otherwise, let's just capture some prisoners here. And then we will be able to head onward. There we go. Okay, so that is pretty fantastic in my opinion. I, I now have a lame stallion equipped, so I will be swapping that out. There we go. Alright, so we now have those spies over there. I'm going to be... Return to the ranks. Yes, there we go. Okay, fantastic. Alright, so that's great. That means that hopefully our newly conquered fiefs will be left well alone by any interlopers. And uh, I cannot believe that it took me this long to actually get this guy. Like, we ran all the way into Pentoshi lands. That is just crazy. Oh uh, well, never mind. Let's, uh, let's make our way back, shall we? And I should probably go somewhere like this. Mm. And uh, I actually, I, I hope that I still have my spy here. I think my spy was probably seen. So that's not, that's not very good. But we do have 21. We literally have 21 relation here, which is pretty amazing in itself. Okay, so I'm going to wait here for some time. Actually, you know what? I should probably see if I can buy some things. Yes, there we go. Give me all this wonderful food. Definitely going to need that. And we should probably sell this saddle horse because I'm going to be replacing that with a stallion. And we can sell that one as well. There we go. All right. So let's take a look at the inn because you never know. There might be a companion here that could help us out. Bran. I don't believe he's anything. Sellsword captain. Going to be 
probably a bit too expensive. I was hopeful that we could find a ransom broker, but no such luck. Okay, so Silver has advanced in level. Let's see what she can get. Well, we, I guess we'll just go for a little bit more in uh, power draw because she is going to use a bow eventually. And we'll get her some more in surgery as well. And Baron actually did level up too. And, well, that's the thing. I actually have no idea what to spec him into. I mean, he, he, he was actually going to be spec'd into pathfinding and tactics to become a vassal because as you can see here he has five in leadership which is actually pretty amazing he also has seven in persuasion i don't think that's really going to make that much difference i don't think persuasion can be used by vassals but it would be pretty awesome if they if it could anyway let's uh, level up some of these and a couple of oh i i literally do not have enough money that is fantastic okay well never mind this means I will be sending in. Oh, I can actually order sabotage. So my, my spy is actually in there. So if I do order sabotage, I could technically go straight in and we could probably win this in a matter of moments. So I think I'm... Um, uh, yeah, I actually don't know whether I should go away first, go back to Volantis, put some people in there. I think that's what I'm going to do first. All right, this is now time to order the sabotage. Let's see what we can do. So poisoning the town well usually does result in some pretty good stuff. So I guess we will try to do that. Uh, not entirely sure how this is going to work, but we'll we'll, we'll see. Mm, oh, look at that. Oh, worthless piece of metal. Fantastic. Uh, that would be that would be the case, wouldn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so let's have a look. There we go has successfully poisoned the well 101 units instead of 500 so now technically i could have besieged this uh, i don't really want to fight that guy over there I, i'm hoping that there's going to be a couple of villagers that might come out i could also order more sabotage let's order more sabotage why not let's uh let's poison poison the well uh maybe that will help a little bit. I'd like some villagers to come out, if at all possible. Oh, what's this? One of your new recruits dies from an illness. He carries both a faith of the seventh symbol and a symbol of a fiery heart. No one knows which he was aligned to the most. Uh. Uh. Well, I guess most... I think most people follow the faith of the seventh, so I guess we'll just do that. Oh, okay. So that actually does reduce our relation with R'hllor, but only by one, which is pretty fine. So I think that's okay. Anyway, uh, I'm hopeful that we will get some... Oh, there's a... Oh, no. I was a bit too slow. Okay, well, that's bad. Oh, there's literally three. Are you serious right now? <laughs> that... That is crazy. Okay, village farmers? Hello. Uh, I will take what you've got. Thank you very much. And we are going to head in straight away here. And we're going to call for a meeting with the castle commander and we're going to surrender. There we go. You will be ransomed. And there it is. Done. We took it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Spies. The power of spies. I cannot believe how incredibly powerful they actually are. And uh, if you can make it work, it's pretty fantastic. You know, because obviously, if you are at war with a particular faction, they are going to be much more on their guard. They're going to know that you're trying to do something. And they're going to try and hunt down your spy. But if you can do it when you're at peacetime and you can strike right at their heart, which is what we've just done, then, uh, oh yeah, then you're going to have a pretty fun time indeed. Anyway, let's see if I can take as many good units as possible. Uh, sell swords, I guess. And I guess we will just bury, bury the dead, I suppose, because morale is always pretty good for us. And uh, I am actually going to defer appointment of a lord here. I'm going to probably give this to... Sir uh, Shadrick when he comes back, I think. That's probably going to be the case. And uh, there we go. All right, so we <laughs> we own this now. Yes, we own this. And uh, we did it in a matter of seconds. That is kind of amazing. Okay, so there are one, two, three more castles that Mia actually has. And I'm a bit... I'm actually a bit worried about this. I would love to be able to sell my prisoners, if at all possible. There's a peasant. Probably going to ask for some assistance. Ah, this might be... 
Nope, that is not a ransom broker. I was very much hoping it would be. Maybe we can sell some to... No, that's not going to happen either. Uh, okay, well, that's unfortunate. I, I suppose I can put them in the garrison here. Which is going to make this a very tempting prospect for whoever comes along and attempts to attack us. But, y you know what? I am actually literally still gaining relation with Mia itself, thanks to our spy being in there. I think our spy is still in there. Yes, our spy is still in there. That is kind of hilarious. Okay, so let's go all the way over here and, oh, run into this guy. Well, they have over a thousand, but uh, <laughs> I think we'll be okay. I have been told that Mia is, uh, well, Mirish units do not have the greatest stats, but I Maybe, maybe that was wrong, who knows, but uh, I, I was told that Valantines are the best faction, uh, technically in terms of strength, on Essos. And so I guess I probably, I probably shouldn't take anyone else lightly, but we're going to see wh maybe whether we, can, whether we can defeat these guys, or at the very least try to eliminate as many as possible to force them to retreat. So let's see if we can do that. How many cavalry do I have? Not much. I've only got eight. That's pretty bad. Uh, I, you know what? I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm literally gonna tell my people just to go straight on in there. Not the cavalry though. Thank you, thank you very much. And not the archers, but my infantry can go over there and uh, attack the enemy cavalry. That sounds like a good idea. And what we're gonna do? Oh yeah, yeah. Are they, oh, they're coming. They're, they're coming out. That is probably a bad idea. But uh, we've been fighting cavalry all the time, and ooh, that was close. Did you see that? That was really close. That was a bit too close for my liking. These guys actually seem to be pretty well armored. I'm not entirely sure why you would, uh, you know, why one, shall we say, would consider uh, Mia to be a uh, not particularly good faction. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, the enemies have already lost a leader? Are you serious? They've already lost their leader? That is amazing. Okay. They tend to have spears. I'm I'm a big, <laughs> big scaredy cat when it comes to attacking people with spears because they generally tend to be very good at stopping horses and indeed eliminating horses. And there's the next level. Wow, very nice. Level 28 for Elias right there. And you know what's going to happen? If we are able to succeed in our attack on them right now, then we basically won't have any problems whatsoever anymore. We will pretty much easily be able to take, well, pretty much all of their castles without any difficulties, and uh, then move on from there. And I don't exactly know who to go for next. As far as I'm aware, Lys is also a pretty difficult faction, like Valantis was, and uh, I am dead. I kind of thought I was going to die as soon as my horse was eliminated, so... That is obviously that. That is kind of a bit annoying. But I have I have quite a bit of faith in my own units that we are going to be able to do this without too many difficulties. As you can see, they're doing pretty well. We are losing quite a few, though. And I think after they have eliminated the various infantry that they are currently engaged with right now, I'm going to be retreating. I'm going to be retreating now, I think. There we go. Okay, so how many did we lose? 14. We literally only lost 14. The enemy lost 138, but obviously 14 uh, is only the deaths, and then 47 were the, ma were, were the minor wounds. So it would be nice. Ugh. I would like to be able to retreat here, if at all possible, but it seems like that will not happen. So 283 against 890. We have a much better battle advantage this time as well. So I think this time around, I'm going to stick close to my units, and we're going to see whether that makes a bit of a difference. I, I assume it will, obviously, because running in by yourself usually is not the best idea, especially when you're up against some pretty, well, I, I'm going to say they're pretty well-geared archers, you know? They're pretty well-geared, so that's obviously a bit of an issue. And these guys running in with their lances, they with their heavy cavalry, they seem to use, they seem to use mercenaries, actually. Mia seems to use mercenaries for the most part. Where, where's their uh, where's their unique units? It seems like they don't really use unique units, or uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. But uh, most of the time, they seem to be using mercenaries of some kind. And uh, I think 
This is going to be pretty easy for us. I mean, I'm going to put everyone in Shield Wall, or the very, at the very least, as many people as possible. I'm going to get the cavalry to follow me, as we're going to do a little bit of hit-and-run attacks. And I'm going to try and tell my archers just to move back a little bit, because I actually have quite a few archers right now. I've got 18. That's actually more than I've had in quite a while, so me making sure that they survive is obviously a good idea. And uh, what did I actually get attacked by? I got, I got attacked by something. It must have been a cavalry that wandered into our uh, into our vicinity. So, yeah, this is going to be a bit of an issue here. I'm going to tell my infantry just to charge straight on in, actually, because they are so close to the enemy as it is that it might make sense just to get them to be as offensive as possible. And this is actually working remarkably well. And uh, I kind of see now why... A couple of people said that Mir is not the best when it comes to their uh, strength on the battlefield. They do tend to be a little easier. <laughs> I'm going to say a lot easier, actually, than the Volantines, because they really did have some pretty harsh units in those Tiger Cloak guards and the Tiger Cloak elite archers and everything. Those guys are pretty formidable, but these guys, not so much. So it is turning out to be slightly easier for us, which is great for me because I was a bit worried, i got to say. I was a bit worried, considering most of the garrisons do tend to have some pretty large amounts of units. But I, 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 you know what? I probably did not even need to use my spy in the way that I did. But it was super cool, in my opinion, to uh, actually see that be so successful. Because in the grand scheme of things, when you're doing like normal normal warband, you know, if you're doing native or some other some other mod that, that, that does not include spies, then uh, you don't have that option, you know? You don't have that option whatsoever, and it's, it's kind of cool to see how it works. And to actually pull it off successfully is very satisfying indeed, so it's pretty cool to see that. Anyway, how many have we lost so far? Not much. Not much at all. And I'm hopeful that I will not actually get myself killed here. So I'm actually just going to stay a little bit on the uh, the outskirts, so to speak. And I'm going to move my archers into a little better positioning. And maybe we can help out with this guy. Oh, never mind. They didn't even need my assistance by the looks of things. Uh, I'd like to get onto a new horse. So I think I might try and get onto this saddle horse right here. If I die, this is going to be bad. Uh, it's, it's a little better. But from, from what I can tell, so far everything is going quite nicely, with the exception of all of their archers being pretty decent. Yeah, that, look at that. They are very good. Wow. I'm going to say that they are probably the highlight of the Mirish army at the moment. It seems to me like they are the ones actually... Well, if there were better infantry on the battlefield, I feel like the archers would be extremely difficult to deal with, but maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the one that's just, you know, letting down the side. I'm the weak link in the chain. <laughs> that is, uh, that could be the case. But uh, Elias, he doesn't mind. Or does he? Maybe he does. Oh, yeah, I think he probably does. Anyway, the point is, is that we're absolutely fine. And I believe there's only one enemy remaining. I don't even know what it is. Let me see if I can speed up. Oh, we're going to the speed of sound right there. All right. So, yeah, it's actually a Dothraki O. Oh. Yeah, I'm really pleased that we actually got some ar some archers now because those guys are helping us out like no one's business to tackle those Dothraki annoyances. And uh, yeah, there you go. Finally, a victory for us. 46 renown. 46 renown, 25 morale, and how many enemies killed? 370. Okay, I still can't leave, which is bad. Pretty bad. All right, so we've taken the first brunt of the attack from the opponent's heavy cavalry, but it really hasn't done that much. I mean, as you can see here, we just took six casualties for, from unconsciousness, and that's really nothing. That is really nothing to worry about. And uh, I've actually ordered my cavalry into a wedge formation, and I've ordered them to follow me. So I'm hopeful that they will do some decent damage. There's only six of them, which is obviously a bit of a problem, and I really do not want to be charging these guys in to wow okay that was that's a little bit aggressive isn't it oh that was that was very aggressive indeed but it's okay i don't have to worry about him or maybe i do look at him he's hunting me down he's hunting me down and i am being attempting to well attempting to be very very cautious anyway let's tell my infantry to attack the enemy infantry for the moment 
Gonna keep them in shield wall formation. And see if I can maybe do something to this guy. He's got some good armor on, but that is nothing in comparison to the power of the Butcher of Bloodbridge. And uh, yes, he will probably be changing his name relatively soon as well. Because, of course, we are having a bit of a new enemy here. Gotta be careful. I gotta be really careful here. I cannot allow myself to be eliminated once again because I think this is probably my last life. You know, life, quote-unquote, technically. Because if I end up dying again, then I will have to send my units in by themselves. And that is not going to work out very well at all. So me being able to uh, hopefully do something here and, uh, well... You know what? I'm going to tell my infantry to charge because it seems like they're walking back first into the opponent's attacks, and that's really not very good. So telling them to charge is hopefully going to make them a little bit better at defending themselves. And we'll try and get our archers to stand on this hill here. New enemies have arrived. Wow, we've already eliminated such a huge amount of them, but they are still just pouring into the battlefield right now. I'm going to try and eliminate this guy if I can. We're losing a lot of Unsullied as well, but that is to be expected, of course. And another one? Another Dothraki? Are you serious? Can you... Could you not? Could you not do that? I'd appreciate it. He, he seems to not... He, he doesn't listen. He doesn't... Uh, well... How, how can you... Uh, how can you expect him to listen, I suppose? He's, he's having fun. You know? He's having fun doing what he does best. And uh, speaking of that, I'm actually going to go away. I am going to go far, far away from here because these guys are going to have my number in no time. As you can see, they're actually attempting to maybe target me down a little bit here. Hmm. Yeah, well, so far, so good, I guess. But uh, it is going to be a little difficult if we can move our archers a little bit closer, maybe. And maybe I can do a little bit of damage here and there as well. This is worrying. I do not want to go close to the enemy, but it feels to me like if I go anywhere but here, I'm going to get shot in an instant by some of those Dothraki if I lower my... Oh, hello. Yeah, talking about getting shot instantly, there's a whole bunch of archers attempting to focus me down right now. So, yeah. Mm, I'm hopeful that they will not receive any more reinforcements. If they receive more reinforcements right now, I think we will be in a really bad situation. But if we are able, and if they don't, then I think we will probably end up winning this. But we end up losing about 50 units every single time we do one of these rounds. And even if we're not losing them due to actual death, we are still having them get knocked unconscious and as a result, not be available for the next round of battle. So that is going to be a bit difficult. But it seems to me like they will not be receiving reinforcements. Which is good, but again, Dothraki. They're being very annoying. <laughs> very annoying in actual fact. And uh, I have no idea how I'm supposed to defeat these guys without charging after them. There's just no, there's just no way. I mean, I could retreat, you know, I could retreat, but that's not going to do anything because these guys are technically not running away. They're not routing. They're not doing anything like that. So the only thing I could do, I guess, is actually go to the edge of the map and tell all my units to get over there and then just hope. Whoa, that was a nice hit right there. Wow, that was insane speed as well. Very nice indeed. All right, so there you go. 280% speed bonus and... All of our people are coming over here. And I realize that there's only 21, and they would generally be quite easy to deal with, but these guys are so incredibly fast on their mounts, it makes it very difficult to pin them down. Uh, yeah, also, if I'm too slow to actually hit them, then that's also a thing. It seems like the only thing we can really do is actually just take them off their mounts and uh, then just try and deal with them that way. Or just go absolutely crazy and do almost 200 damage. <laughs> yeah, that guy really did not see that coming. Alright, so there's only 14 remaining and I'm hoping that what I can try to do here is I can try to lure 
the enemy to the edge of the map so that they get a little bit stuck. Uh, it seems like they might be running away. Yep, they are running away right now. Okay, well, I guess that's okay. I'm going to try and... Yeah, there we go. Try and take that guy out. And maybe we can try out and try and take out a couple more. Nope. Never mind, he's gone. Okay, so most of these are routing. Which is good. There goes his head. He's going to have to leave without his head. And uh, there we go. Alright, so we eliminated another 100, or 340, I think, something like that. Yeah, 347, actually. And we were able to kill 13, which is not that much, but our companions were able to do a lot more that time around, I think. Alright, so how are we doing? 162 against 189. That is, that is fantastic. That's exactly what I want to see. And this time around, I'm actually not going to even look for the leave option, even though I would like to leave and see what the uh, lay of the land is, but for me right now, I want to eliminate these guys. I want to take them out and uh, have done with it, basically. So let's see if I can... How many... Uh... Oh, wow. I've got a huge amount of archers. Okay. I have a huge amount of archers. So basically what I'm going to need to do here is I'm going to need to, well, protect the archers. That is the name of the game right now. Protecting them is the most important thing that I can do, and maybe also try and do some damage to these Dothraki raiders. They're going to be kind of a pain, but thankfully, and maybe hopefully, that we have so many archers, they will be able to deal with them without any problems. So I'm actually going to tell my infantry to deal with the enemy archers, and hopefully I'm not going to get shot while doing so. There we go. Uh, there's a couple of thieves there. They're just chucking everything in now, aren't they? Yes, they are just absolutely chucking everything in. And hopefully the archers will be able to deal with the Dothraki. Because, I mean, let's face it. Tiger Cloak Elite Archers. Can I get any better than that right now? Probably not. So, they're going to be very good for us. And we are running them down right now. Yeah, we are absolutely running them down. There doesn't seem to be anything they can do. Even if I get eliminated right now, I'm pretty sure I will still get a victory, or at least I hope so. And I think I'm actually going to tell everyone to charge. Everyone can just charge straight on in here. Even if we end up losing like five or so units, you know, to, due to our recklessness, I don't mind. I don't mind because I feel like we have the enemy on the run and they are panicking as, as you know, as you saw in the text box there, they're, they're all panicking because we've eliminated so many in such a short space of time. And they do still have a couple of heavy cavalry units. So this is going to be a bit, hmm, a bit dicey for me. Uh, yes, I am becoming even worse at cavalry combat by the looks of things, but I guess uh, it's just literally because I am so low in HP. I'm just trying to be extremely cautious. Okay, I've got to be a bit careful here. That is a very large pole axe. Westerlands? We're fighting some Westerlands units? Okay, that's kind of interesting. I would not have expected to see one of those over here, that's for sure. How did they, how did they get those? I, I have no idea. I would love to have seen the history of where this guy has been because it would be really cool to find out where he actually got these Westerlands units from. I mean, maybe there's a patrol or something. I'm, I'm actually going to die here, I think. I'm going to use my fearsome cry and uh, maybe just get a little bit of extra space. I am now exhausted. That is not good. Oh, well, thanks. Thank you very much, Unsullied. <laughs> Unsullied number how many? <laughs> number 81 or something? Anyway, point is, there's now only eight enemies remaining, and hopefully they are not going to be too difficult to pin down. I have zero HP, or one HP in this case, and hopefully I won't get picked off. Well, uh, there it is. The last Dothraki unit has been eliminated by one of our exiled knights. They've been invaluable in this, uh, in these kinds of battles because being able to chase down those Dothraki is really, really good. Anyway, I do have a uh, semi-permanent wound, so I will have to speak to Silver about that, and I will be able to take this guy prisoner. Oh yes, I'm going to be doing that. I will be taking that guy prisoner. The other one managed to escape, unfortunately, but we now get the opportunity to take these guys and, uh, well, put them in our put them in our prisoner hold and uh, it's going to be great if I can find a ransom broker. It is going to give me so much money. So if I can do that, that would be great. But otherwise, look at these. Westerlands pikemen? Arbalester? What? 
Are you serious? Okay, well, whatever the case, I uh, guess I'll just take a couple of things. Ooh, a horn. Increases party morale, improves leadership. That might be pretty useful for one of our companions, perhaps. Uh, a little bit of extra money right there. And... Ah, yes, that fellow is deciding to siege Nysar, which is... I actually don't even mind. I really don't even mind about that. I really don't. And I'm going to need to be a bit careful about my money here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need to go back to my treasury and see what I can do about that. Because we are going to run out of money very quickly if I upgrade these. As you can see, look at that. Just lost 6,000. <laughs> Just lost 6,000 from that. So that's pretty crazy. Anyway, we've taken Mia from them. And I am going to be heading on over to this castle. And then I'll t probably take this one down here if I can get spies in those in those places, then it will make all the difference. And he's probably going to be able to take Nysar, let's, let's face it. But I don't really mind. We'll be able to take that back pretty easily. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.